Hey everyone, what's up? This is Iram here, back with another video and today we are going to start our new topic. Today we are going to learn about margins, margins in CSS. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, let me define you that what are margins. Margins in CSS are used to, to create space around elements outside of any defined borders. Margins create extra space around an element. First of all, let's learn the syntax of the margins, then we will use some examples. And I hope that it will be clear to you after uh, seeing the sy syntax and after solving some problems or uh, after doing some examples. So let's get into it. Let me tell you that I'm using VS Code Editor. You can use whatever code editor you like, you can go with that. Um, I'm very familiar with VS, so that's why I'm using this one. Okay. So let's start the syntax of the margin. Margin, the syntax of the margin in CSS, we write margin like this. We just say margin, colon. Uh, I'm using right now, I'm using 10 pic uh, pixels. We can use different units. Uh, furthermore, I'll explain you the units also. But right now, just um, let me explain you that what I'm doing here. And here, I should say that. So when we define margin with one value, like as I've defined here, 10 pixels margin, 10 pixels, it is going to apply to all four sides of the uh, element or the border, okay? Then we have another something else, which is some margin, but here we can use, suppose I'm saying, uh, let me improve, uh, correct my mistake here, okay. And here I'm saying 20%. Percent. We can use this uh, percentages also. I'm saying, um, and I said auto. And this is going to apply uh, vertically and horizontally. Okay, vertical and horizontal. What? Um, how it is going to apply vertical this 20 percent is going to apply vertical like top and bottom and this auto is going to apply uh, left and right okay so we can say margin margin top we can also define like this margin bottom sorry margin left margin right okay this is also the way to define the margins and there is a shorthand so this one is the shorthand okay the one with what i have used here this one is the shorthand we can use this one also margin top left bottom and right and we can use margin in this way also let me bring it to the bottom then it is not going to be mixed okay so here let me write um, with some space between these this code and these code of lines of code okay so here this is the way this is the one way we can define margin top like if i want to define margin top i can say eight pixels and top margin bottom could be 8 pixels or let, let's change this value could be 20 pixels this could be 80 pixels okay it's up to the requirement or up to the design whatever we are going to design we can change it or we can use the value according to the design so here i can say 75 pixels this is the one way. The second way, which is sometimes known as, not sometimes, but which is known as shorthand, this, this one, like margin. Here I'm calling the whole margin, all four sides, so I'm saying uh, 10 pixels. Here I'm using, I'm going to say that, I'm saying here that 20% from uh, top and bottom and auto from horizontal like left and right. I'll explain you this auto also. Now, what is this auto? Um, uh, I'll explain you later. 
okay and then there is another way which is like margin here you know I'm saying 15 pixels auto and then gray pixels what's going on here here I'm calling the margin from top horizontal mm, hurry horizontal and bottom so this value this value is going uh, this value is going to apply on top of the border or the element this one is going to apply on, on left and right and this one is going to apply bottom of the element so this is also the way we can use the three values also to define the margin we can use negative values also to define the margin sometimes let me give an example here uh, like here I just want to say minus 20 pixels and then I want to have 15 pixels 0 and auto what I'm doing here here I'm saying top right bottom and left so this minus 20 pixels it is going to represent the border or the element from top so from top it is going to show me the minus 20 pixels and the right would be 15 pixels 0 I'm not going to define anything here it's like 0 I'll explain you and auto is from left side so this is the shorthand value sometimes we used to, um, we also call them shorthand actually and this is here I have called all the four sides of the element uh, of the border element element border sorry and here I have called only three sides here two and here I define uh, I also applied for four sides okay now let's know some parameters other parameters uh, not other parameters the same parameters actually so here you zero this zero let me define that what is this zero this zero means that we are not setting margin to any any side or we are not applying margin so this set margin to none okay zero means that like here I have used zero so it means that I don't want margin uh, from bottom uh, in, in the bottom I don't want margin I don't want to set any sort of margin in the bottom here then we have we can use the um, auto here I have used auto here here and here what is this auto this auto the browser calculate the value evenly and evenly sets value on each side so when we say auto here the browser is going to calculate the value okay the browser calculate the value evenly and set evenly it sets evenly sets to uh, search on sorry each side okay so when we use auto like here I said auto to vertically it should be 20% like left and right would be 20% but horizontally top and bottom would be auto like browser is going to calculate it and Oh my gosh, my spellings are too. Evaluate. Mm -hmm. Sorry for this spellings mistake, actually. In the browser calculate the. Sorry, it's not evaluated, it's evenly. Okay. So here the browser calculate the value evenly calculate the value evenly and it sets on each side so that's why we use auto that it depends upon the browser okay browser calculated according to it according to the browser's uh, engine setting like if you are using chrome or a firefox then they have different uh, whatever the possible way the browser sets the uh, it is going to represent in the same way and there is another uh, like units let me tell you about units here as I've told you that we can use pixels 
percentages m's okay and pixels percentage and m's um, some other units also later when we will do the project by using all this knowledge then we will learn about all these things okay so the units are these pixels or percentage percentages or m's are known as units okay then there is something else which is known as inherit and inherit margin inherit um, it inherits a margin from its parent okay so it um, where is it it inherits the mar margin value from its parent element Par parent parent element we'll use this in example then you, you, you guys will understand in a better way and then there is something else which is known as initial and initial restore to initial value okay this is not difficult when we will do the project and we will use this knowledge in a project then you guys will understand that how we um, how easy all these things are it's not difficult now let's use a single a simple example to understand all these things what we have learned about the margins so let me um, let me use a comment here if you okay here and until now I want to comment it okay now here let's have a simple example so i'm using a div i'm assigning it a class and i'm calling this class center and here i just want to go with some dummy text okay lorem ipsum five words and and other div i would like to go with another div and i'm assigning it a class and this class i want to call this class outside okay and here again i'm going to use some lorem ipsum text and here we go now let's call these elements here in our css i have attached this css file i'm using external css and i've attached this here in my uh, with my index.html so it is main.css and here we go so let let me uh, call this class the first class of center sorry about the spellings okay center and here i want to say margin would be auto i want the browser to be set all the all the mar margin from to all four sites and I want to give it a background color and let me go with aquamarine and the width I want to set <coughs> excuse me is 75 percent okay we can say 75 pixels also but uh, let me set it 75 pixels now the other class I have used it is outside and this outside class uh, again I'm going to use the margin here I'm going to use margin to like 20 pixels and on all four sides okay I want to apply the margin um, around the four sides and then zero and then mm, not zero let me see 15 pixels here it should be zero and then auto or let me use a negative value then it will be clear to you guys if we can use the negative values also let me set the background color to red and here the width i want to set i want this width to be in percentage so here i'm saying 75 percent let's save it move on to the browser okay so you guys can see that this is how we can set the margin i set auto 
so it centralized the browser centralized it according to the auto values okay and the one i set this is the second one the outside one okay so here we have used auto and all four sides of the margin now let's learn another example so let me go and here let me delete this actually we have already learned this i don't think that we need to use it and here let me change the class name i don't want to go with uh, only one class okay so let's say here i should call it test a test class let me save it and in my main css i'm deleting the old code in here this div i have a test class so i should say Uh, sorry, uh, if the simple one we have done. Let me do this with the not the div shouldn't be with this class test class. I want to explain you inherit that how we can use the inherit um, parameter. So here, let me see p paragraph, and this p should go with the test class, and this div isn't anything. Let me delete it. And let me delete it from here and here I just want to go with some dummy text and I want to close this div here okay okay let's save this here let me call this div in our previous example we have learn the simple uh, use of margin here i um, in the simple use of margin like i have used one center class to show that according to the browser the auto the second one was about uh, uh, using the all all four uh, parameters and here i'm using the inherit class okay the inherit parameter so here the div is margin margin here i should say margin right to this div and I want it to be 50 pixels and the background here background color let's go with the blue violet and I want to have a P my paragraph had a class with known as test and here I want to use the same margin margin right and this margin right here i want to say inherit okay now let's save it i remember i didn't assign any margin value i just i want it to be inherited from the parent element so this is the child element and this is the parent element let me um sorry let me define you from here here this D div is the parent element of this p element so this p is the child of this div um, parent element so i want this uh, p to inherit the you know the, to inherit the margin right from the div so this is what i have defined here that i def i defined margin margin right 50 pixels to this div and i want the same margin i want the child should have the same margin so the child this p element is going to inherit the same margin value from this div tag so let's check it in the browser you can see that i didn't assign the, any any sort of margin to my paragraph but it inherits from the div so this is how we can use the inherit value uh, or the inherit parameter i hope you guys understand um, the margins when we will do the project when we um, in future then uh, you guys will understand uh, all these small or big things in in the project while using all this knowledge into our project if you like the video please subscribe the channel and hit the like button 
and do subscribe the channel because I'm going to bring the new videos and uh, in this uh, new videos in the channel to help you guys more. Okay, see you next time. Hasta la vista. Ciao, ciao.